Thank you. You too. Change it up. All set. <clears throat> now we get out of here. I'll show you guys what I got up here, but. Starting up their vehicle. It's crazy. But I just had to get a couple items. Uh, I didn't buy any more meat. I'm probably gonna get some more of that later time, later place, later situation. But let me show you guys what I got. I just wanted to get out of that parking spot. Move closer to the exit. Plus, I have to put some stuff in my trunk too, where I have a cooler because I'm trying to be forward thinking about all things. Going to Gramps. Family size, even though I'm small. I got something called Hot Corners. Need some chips. Okay. What else do we got here? Milk. You gave me like a smaller thing of it. I asked for no substitutions, but that's okay. I got me some more mineral water, peach, whatever. And I got six of those, and then I got me some croissants. Just these here. And I think you already know I'm about to eat a couple of these on my way to the gym. It's gonna be my food. So. Croissants. So, I'm doing shoulders today. I wasn't really planning on working out, but I had to come in and get this stuff. So, I'm gonna do shoulders, get that workout in. I have to go back home, do some more work, do some editing, and then kind of rinse and repeat the next day. Next day is uh, deadlifts. Tomorrow is Wednesday. So, I'm gonna knock all that out. <sighs> yeah, should be a good day today. It's gonna be a quicker workout because I've been telling people before these powerlifting workouts usually take four or five hours like total. Like when I do cardio and then kind of the weight training aspect of it and kind of going back and forth between uh, the different locations, it takes a little longer. So yeah. All right. See you guys at the gym. sets of two, then I gotta do front squats for uh, four sets of two at 249, basically 250. Then I have bench in between dumbbell flies and push-ups for five sets of ten. <sighs> yeah, this is gonna be interesting. So I'm, what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna build up Obviously, I'm gonna record everything. And then, we're gonna go from there, see how these, these top sets feel. Let's get it.
couple of things to report. I just kind of changed up the way I was squatting. Instead of doing like more of a narrow stance, I've gotten wide in my stance out of so instead of having to be kind of like this, taking my feet out of stepping and kind of like outward that way I can kind of chop into the whole uh, come down, break parallel. So that's been an adjustment. I've been working on it as I've been kind of going up. It's my first day of doing that wide of a stance again. Also, I'm gonna break this thing out right now. And I'm gonna just record my top sets. So I'll do, I'm doing 290 for, I think two sets of four, I think. And I have to do 335 or 330 for five sets of two. And then after that, I'm done. And I have to bench, and I have to come back and then front squat. But I may just combine them both. Because I'm looking over right now. A lot of times I try to do all the mines in one lift because I'm looking over there now. It doesn't look like there's too many people over there, but I'm pretty sure by the time I finish this, it's gonna be packed because bench is the first thing that gets actually packed. Most people don't come to the squat area, which is beneficial to me because, and if they are over here, they're not really squatting or they're doing other stuff. Like, uh, like, like doing a lot of bicep curls and stuff like that. So now, I'm just setting everything up. This is my first set. Let's see what we can get. That's all it is. I said that this thing also has like a ankle, kind of like a, a mount, shoe mount for you to put on top of your camera as well if you want to record vertically from a camera, which is nice. But I'm going to use this thing to see what it's about. Tying it down. Why it doesn't move. I'm going to try to get some content on all the other social medias as well. Let's go. All right, I got 320 for five sets of two, I think. Uh, yeah, let's see how this feels. I was gonna go over to just stay over here and do squats, but this is open up, so I'll go over there and come back here and then do front squats afterwards. Now, it says on here I have to do 105, 108, 129, 
Blah, 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 blah. I'm not doing that. It's 135. I'll do a set of five, set of four. Then go up to 150. And there's 155, I guess. And then 175. And then do those. Try to knock these out as quickly as possible. Do dumbbell flies. After that, do uh, and I do push-ups, and then I have to go back, and I have to do front squats. And I don't know how they're determining what my front squat strength is, but it's saying that it's 40, I guess it's 45 percent of whatever my regular squat is. So they're saying, okay, 185 for three, two sets of three, and then I have to do 228, um, two sets of three, and I have to do. 60%, 250, and 249 for four sets of two. I don't know how that's gonna work, but we'll see. I'll just gauge and then go from there. I'm thinking I can probably hit 225. We'll see if I can hit 250, I don't know. But I'm gonna speed through this. This isn't gonna take long. Vince, I'm weak, so it's not gonna take me that long to get through it. Back over here, all the squat racks are taking some of these. This one here, lesson learned. Don't need the squat rack until you're finished with it completely. So this training routine will begin all the way where I'll do all of my squat stuff in one spot and I'll do all of my bench stuff in one spot so I don't have to move. So I'm gonna do front squats for 225. I'm gonna work back this. Sucks to put back on your knees through your hand and sweat it in your hand. Never again. Never again. This squat rack and this kind of two twenty five, two fifty. I can see it happening. One eighty five, perhaps. Plus my back is starting to taste up a little bit too. We'll see. We're done with those front squats. That's not happening. But I'm gonna take this bench that I'm sitting on right now. And I'm gonna do my chest flies, then do my push-ups, and I'm out of here. After I do cardio. But yeah, the front squats are a no gozer. And it's like I still feel like that tension. It's like lower and upper back when I do them, so I'm not gonna try to push it. So a long time ago, if your body's telling you no, you don't push through. That leads to injury. So there we go.
shoulders. Now we're saying we have to do push-ups for five sets of ten. NFL documentary, Dallas Cowboys, I think 93, I think. Yeah, 93 Cowboys. All right, I'm gonna wrap up this video now. Workout felt pretty good, but the only thing that I didn't like was I was training and I had to do this thing where I'm gonna go back hence my bench. I'm just gonna squat, do all of my working sets. I'm not moving. And I'll go to bench. And I'll come back. I'm not moving around because a couple things happen. First thing is when I do that, a lot of times it's taken because benches are kind of, they're not that easy to come across around right here. And if you go and squat, you go to the area. A lot of times people will come to that area. So I'm just going to finish up everything with one shot and then go to the other area and work out there. So that's what we're going to do. That being said, we're going to have to 